Week two of the Derek Chauvin trial began with testimony from the man who fired him. Minneapolis Police Chief Madaria Arredondo spent much of the day answering questions about police training, protocol, and policy. He was also asked the question, was Derek Chauvin in the right when he had his knee on the neck of George Floyd during his arrest last year? Our Esme Murphy joins us now from outside the courthouse. Hi there, Esme. Hi there, Amelia. Well, last summer, Chief Medaria Arredondo said in a public statement that the officers had actually murdered George Floyd. His testimony today in court was a little bit more restrained, but still a strong condemnation of Derek Chauvin's actions. Chief Medaria Arredondo was alerted to George Floyd's death by his own commanders. He only realized the level of the crisis when he got a call from a community leader. Chief, have you seen the video of your officer choking and killing that, that man? Arredondo immediately looked for and found online the bystanders video that was already going viral. Is it your belief then that this particular uh, form of restraint, if that's what you, if that's what we'll call it, uh, uh, in fact violates departmental policy? I absolutely agree that violates our policy. Again and again, Arredondo testified the restraint was excessive. That is not uh, part of our policy. That is not what we teach. Do you have an opinion as to whether the defendant violated MPD departmental policy 7-350 by failing to render aid to Mr. Floyd? I, I agree that uh, the defendant violated our policy in terms of rendering aid. The defense pushed back. When's the last time that you've actually, I don't mean to be dismissive, but actually arrested a suspect? It's been many years, sir. And under cross-examination, Arredondo testified Chauvin's knee may have shifted. From the perspective of Officer King's body camera, it appears that Officer Chauvin's knee was more on Mr. Floyd's shoulder blade. Um, yes. Also testifying today, the emergency room doctor who tried to revive George Floyd. At the end of the 30 minutes, uh, did you pronounce him uh, formally uh, dead? Yes. Dr. Bradford Langenfeld testified he believed Floyd died of asphyxiation because of the high levels of carbon dioxide in his body, but the defense countered. The use of fentanyl, do you know that to attribute to high carbon dioxide levels? It, it can cause high carbon dioxide levels um, because it depresses the ventilation or the breathing. And that's one of the reasons ultimately that fentanyl is so dangerous because it suppresses the respiratory system. Agreed? The primary reason it is so dangerous, yeah. Now, Dr. Langenfeld also testified he didn't know that George Floyd had very high levels of fentanyl in his system. Expect the defense to continue to push this theory, their theory of George Floyd's death, that Floyd was killed by pre-existing medical conditions and the drugs in his system, not Derek Chauvin's knee. All right. Thank you, Esme. And you can follow the trial live on CBSN Minnesota. Point your phone's camera at the code that's on your screen to download our free app. You can also watch it on WTCO.com.